game three at home. And it's two freshmen that have huge, huge nights for you with Gavin getting the hat trick yeah. and Angus only giving up the one goal. Well, you know, it, it, it's not surprising. Angus is probably the smallest guy in the game, but uh, it goes to show you it doesn't matter, you know, what your stature is, it's how you play. And just happy for him. You know, he took a bad penalty last night and, and I think he felt, you know, a little guilty about that. But he, he bounced back in a big way. And he's a goal scorer. You know, that, that first goal is a huge goal. And, and then he's uh, in the right position on the power play to get a couple more. But uh, and then Angus, obviously, I felt I felt bad for him that first one. Uh, reminiscence of the goal against Ferris that uh, you know it's just a guy's dumping it in and uh, somehow it, it gets in on him. But you know, but he he didn't let that bother him, and, and that's what you like in a goaltender. Maybe you give up a, a tough goal, but you stay with it and, and stay in the moment. And uh, he, he was big for us tonight. I thought he did an excellent job handling the puck, uh, battled around the net made some tough saves look easy. I mean, uh, he, he's getting back into form. That's what we saw earlier. So good good for Angus and, and good for our team. I like their defensive posture. It's all got to start on defense. And, and when you give up uh, you know, three goals in three games against, that's pretty darn good. You know, you're gonna, you, I think your success rate's going to be good. But you know, now, now we're down to one game. And uh, it'll be one of the biggest games here in, in the Copper Country. Uh, Definitely in my my tenure, so and I don't know when, when another game has been as big as this coming up Saturday. So, so good. Uh, how important was it for Angus just to shake that off and and just continue to do what he does well? Well, it's absolutely huge. I mean, you know what what happens when you give a goal a goal against up? It gives the other team a spark, and uh, they, they probably had a little push there, and it, it's. It's so important. What I like, though, Mike Neville goes out, you know, and a senior leader captain and, and just tells him, hey, no big deal. You know, we got you. We got your back. And, uh, and that's what the, this, this senior group has done. Their leadership is, is outstanding. And, uh, and I think that was a big moment. And I think that helped Angus. And, and good for him. But he, he shook it off and had a strong game. And uh, he, he's in a groove right now. And it's good to see. That first period was physical, there wasn't yeah. much ice for either team, it was fast, I mean it was everything you expected in a, in a, a deciding game like this. Well it was, uh, it, was a, it was a man's game, I mean you had to show up and, and play hard and you had to put your, your body at risk to make a play, uh, it was physical, you're right, it was fast, it, it was intense, I mean down on the ice you, you, couldn't, you could tell, there wasn't a lot of room and time out there to make plays. And, but at the same time, there was some opportunities. So it was just a, it was everything that this series uh, I thought would be, and, and maybe more. I mean, they're a good team. We've got a good rivalry, and I give them a lot of credit. They're well coached. They play hard. They play the right way. And they came after us a few times. But what I like about tonight's game is when they did, we, we, had, the, we had the answer. We pushed back, and, uh, and that was good. We counterpunched, and, and, you know, good for us. I, I thought our team really earned this victory tonight. They, they worked hard, and... Uh, and they're going to they're gonna need a couple days off because it was a physical, intense uh, series. Franklin gets that real good scoring chance, and yeah. you go back the other way, and Gavin gets the first goal. We see that a lot in hockey, don't we, where the yep. goalie makes a save on one end, and it's a big save, and you go the other way, and it ends up in the net. Yeah, you see that, you know, and, and even tonight, they, they had, you know, they had a couple chances, and, uh, you know, they, they didn't get the bounces, where tonight the puck sort of found Gavin, and he scores, and, and just like on that goal, they get a good chance, Gavin comes down on a three-on-two, nice play by Tommy Brett, another freshman, and a huge goal for us, so, uh, you know, because we got shut out the night before, so I think it was important to get a goal and to get the lead, and that's the other thing, we played with the lead tonight, uh, you know, we never fell behind, it was, we either had the lead or it was tied there, one, and, from that point on, we played the lead, and I thought for the most part we did a pretty good job. You know, at times I wish we had a little more patience uh, with the puck, a little bit more poise to make some plays, and then there's other times you want a little more urgency and desperation. So it's a happy medium in there somewhere. You have to find that. But uh, I can't fault our team tonight. I mean, they showed up and played hard in three games in three days. I thought the energy level uh, by both teams, but you know, especially ours, was was really good for having to play uh, a three and three like we did. And that it's important to take care of your opportunities when you get them. Yeah. They make two mistakes that cost them two penalties in the second period, yeah. and you're able to bury both of them. And how important is that with your power play to click the way it did tonight? Uh, and then you know those, those too many men on the ice seem to bite you, you know, uh, quite a bit. And in the first one, they had six guys on the ice for 20, 25 seconds. Our fans really who were the ones who alerted it, uh, alerted the referees. Then on the second one, that's that's just that one where you know a guy's coming off and he's not off. He's you know. 10, 12 feet, and then the guy jumps out and plays the puck, and you see that called all the time. But 
you know, it was important we took care of those, and, and we did, and it was a little disappointing, we had some other, couple, couple more uh, opportunities on the power play where you could really put them out of the game, and uh, we just didn't do that, but it, it's pretty hard to fault uh, those guys tonight, you know, we won the special teams battle, and uh, that's what won us the game. And Chris takes that penalty late in the game, and it almost costs you, but they end up calling the, the goal back, and then he steps yeah. out of the penalty box, and Neville hits him, and he ends up uh, acing the game for you. Yeah. Just the kind of thing a senior does. No question. And, you know, the penalty, we have to learn from that. You know, there's three and a half minutes left in the game. The, they're 200 feet. It, it's behind their net. Nothing going on. And it, it's, it's a good learning lesson for all our players. And, you know, I wouldn't trade Chris Leibringer for anyone. You, you, you know how he's going to play. He shows up every night. He, you know, sometimes he might be a little over-aggressive. But we, you never have to get him ready to play because he's ready to play. And, you know, you, you wish you wouldn't get that penalty. But at the same time... Uh, our team picked them up. Yeah, and then they waved the goal off. We got a break on that, but the guy is definitely in the crease, and the goalie can't play. He can't play the shot, and that's an easy call. Uh, what was the feeling between the second and third period where you come in, and instead of being a 1-1 tie, you're up 3-1 at that point, and now you're 20 minutes away from a win? Well, it, it's, it's a good feeling. It, it beats the 1-1, but you know, we worked hard. We worked hard to get ahead, and um, I thought, you know, at the start of the third there, they're trying to pull some guys out and get some people behind us, and they spread us out a little bit. They had a couple good chances on some rushes, and we just didn't defend it very well. But uh, having said that, we, we had some good sticks in lanes. We had guys coming back, pick, picking people up. So I don't think we never – didn't feel like we were ever in real danger uh, with that lead. So, uh, you know, good finish to the game, good way to close it out because we had some issues in, you know, quite a while ago not being able to close games. But from that point on, we've been real good at that. Yeah.